basically, no matter what we're painting, uh, if it's a still life or if we're doing a portrait or if we're doing a landscape, we really run into the same circumstance. We're painting the light and, you know, conversely, we're painting the shadows and that sort of reveals the light. Uh, it's, it all boils down to, uh, you know, inside where we don't have skylight, a single source of light, you know, your main source of light. <clears throat> and then if you can see this on here, I need a bigger roll of paper towels, but you see reflected light. Can you see the, the secondary source? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coming up into there. <laughs> and it's really, you know, we're trying to present uh, three-dimensional stuff in our two-dimensional world that we're painting on and it is actually you know we think of edge quality like a, a round edge on a column or on a sphere is the thing that you know that tells us that that's not a cube you know because it's a soft edge and, you know, whereas if it was you know a, a 90 degree corner or something we would you know assume that it's a uh, you know more of a rectangular type shape uh, but the thing that really turns form, that creates that three-dimensional quality that we want to represent in our painting, is reflected light. So if you guys can all see that. And there'll be some of it coming in from, you know, like the ground. It influences, it mostly influences, I think in terms of two types of shadow. One is form shadow and the other is cast shadow. And it mostly influences form shadow because a lot of the cast shadow will be on the ground. There are cast shadows that'll creep up on a building and they can sort of be, you know, affected by reflected light. Some of the things to understand is that reflected light never competes with direct light. So if you squint at reflect, you know, you squint at this image, the reflected light will go away pretty quickly, you know, and you'll still have the distinction between light and shadow. The other thing to think about is that whatever is cre reflecting that, uh, that light, the direct light, is going to have an influence on it. So if it's a warm uh, thing reflecting it, can you all see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, whatever this is, you know, if it's like, a, you know, sienna, raw sienna type ground or grass or whatever it is, it's going to have that influence. So uh, we mostly, you know, the way I, I mostly think of it is buildings outside or a boat. And generally, like if it's a white boat or a white building or, or a, lot of, uh, a lot of boats and buildings, uh, you'll have the influence will be the other source that we can't see in here. So we've got direct light, we've got reflected light. In the landscape, we've got skylight is our third source of light. And the skylight is cool. And the direct source of light that we get from the sun is warm. And the reason we get that is because initially the sun is full spectrum light that comes to earth, okay? Takes a really long, well, it doesn't take that long because it's really fast. <laughs> but it takes a while to get here. And when it comes, you know, kind of near to earth and it encounters the earth's atmosphere, uh, that full spectrum light encounters uh, certain, I guess, atoms or molecules, I forget which ones they are, but uh, there are particular ones that, in, that impact the short wavelength light, the, the BIV part, the blue indigo violet uh, part of the spectrum. The warm rays, the, 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 the ROY, the, the red, orange, yellow part of the spectrum, are completely unaffected. So they come to Earth, but the BIV part, some of those come to Earth, it, you know, in, in, in the form of the direct light, but some of them are subtracted from that uh, the warm source of light that we get, uh, they don't disappear. They get, they don't get absorbed or, or vanished somehow. They get bounced around and scattered. And that's what, you know, when your kid says, why is the sky blue? 
you know, this is the reason the sky is blue, because it's that scattered uh, blue indigo violet part of the spectrum bouncing around. 